First up, Ariana Grande is sick of questions about her relationship and love life, so she took to Twitter to air her grievances about questions about her relationships. Uh, so just to give you guys a quick backstory, uh, Ariana Grande used to date Big Sean, uh, and lately she has been linked to One Direction singer Niall Horan. Uh, so there's a lot of speculation and talk in the media about this, and she was kind of she just kind of got sick of it. She got over it. Uh, so she said to Twitter, "A girl can be friends with someone with a dick and not hop on it." Uh, I'm tired of needing to be linked to a guy. I'm not Big Sean's ex. I'm not Niall's new possible girl. I'm Ariana Grande. Mmm, mmm. Snap it out. <laughs> but she wasn't done there. She then wrote an essay, uh, which she then posted to Twitter. So I'm not going to read you all of that, but I'll read you a little excerpt. She says, I'm tired of living in a world where women are mostly referred to as a man's past, present, or future property slash possession. I do not belong to anyone but myself, and neither do you. I can't wait to live in a world where people are not valued by who they're dating, married to, attached to, having sex with, or not seen with, uh, but by their value as an individual. I want the people reading this to know that they are more than enough on their own. Uh, so obviously she has a lot to say about double standards and misogyny in the media, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. So Robbie, make your point. Okay, so uh, first of all, I think she's completely right. Mm -hmm. I think she's completely right to go off on this. Uh, we've actually dealt with this uh, on Equals 3 a little bit. Uh, our head writer, Kelly Landry, who's also now a host of her own show, um, she, when she first kind of came in front of the camera, uh, everyone assumed that she was either fucking Ray or fucking me. And that was what the internet was full of, was just these mm -hmm. comments of like, oh, you must be dating one of them. Are you dating one of those? And I would get questions, are you hitting that? Or to Ray, Ray, are you tapping that? Uh, and so, yeah, I, I completely back her up on this. I, it completely is a double standard, I think. Uh, when you see a woman, especially on camera, you assume like, oh, they must be getting back, you know, behind the scenes, something going on there. Um, yeah, I think she's right to do that. No, right, and I totally agree. I mean, I host a show called Think Tank on YouTube, and a, a lot of, I got, when I first came on, not as much now, they were all like, oh, you must be there because you fucked John. Like, that was, like, the mm -hmm. assumption. That's the only reason that you could possibly yeah. be doing this. Uh, but we'll get more into my double standard issues, but I want to hear, uh, Sandra, make your point. Um, this is a huge issue. I'd actually never thought of it as uh, somebody who's got half a billion views on some of her music videos, it's, sh it's shocking to think that, it's like when you think of somebody being the possession of someone else, I usually think of like, sort of like a, like a D celebrity where you're like, oh yeah, that person dated that A celebrity, ha ha ha, that's how I know that person. Um, but I really care about people not judging people by who they sleep with because mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if somebody's sleeping with their coworker yeah. or not, are they professional? Are they doing their art? Are they giving it they're all to their fans. So it bothers me um, not only that we judge women especially about who they sleep with, but that it matters. Um, point is that we should all be able to have the sex that we desire and not... And who need. cares? And who right. cares? Yeah. Um, if it turns you on, that's your problem. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> but I think even beyond that, I mean, at least for me, I think there's a lot of women who sometimes validate themselves uh, from the attention from men. So I think it's great mm. for her as a role model, as a 22-year-old, to be saying, like, you don't need to, you know, be considered as a possession or something like that uh, to, to, vet, to feel important and stuff like that. Uh, but Absolutely. I want to know from you guys, the personal question, uh, what double standards have you experienced, Sandra? Okay, so actually I've, I've had a fairly privileged life in terms of uh, how I go through the world. People actually treat me quite, um, quite well in terms of my double standards. I mean, I, I have lost a few jobs because I wasn't a man like uh, in other industries, but since I've been a sex educator, the double standard that I find a lot is that men are considered to be uh, not allowed to be sex educators because if they talk about sex, it's creepy. But mm. if I talk about sex, it's totally fine. Mm, and I find that offensive because it means that we perceive all men to be just like gross sexual monster creatures. And like, <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> like a sweet girl who could talk about sex. And I'm like, oh, go put it in your butt, you know? <laughs> so that's how I feel 
about that <gasps> double standard. I think mm. we need a lot more people talking about sex in a positive and healthy uh, and respectable way. Yeah. yeah. And it can be anyone's yeah. gender. I totally agree with you. Uh, Robbie, what about you? Um, I, honestly, like very few. I've experienced very few double standards. Um, but I am a middle child, mm. so I'll say that I've experienced a double standard that both an older child and a younger child mm. get, uh, which was growing up that was really frustrating. You know, like why Jacob doesn't have to do that? Well, he's older. He's you know he's more responsible now and. You know, like, what? How come she gets that? Well, you're older, so you don't need that. It's like, oh, what do I get? So, like, that <laughs> that sort of middle child, you know, like, and honestly, like, that compared to the double standards that most people experience, right. it's like nothing. It's yeah. nothing at all. So, I've been very lucky and very privileged. Yeah, definitely. I think for me, kind of going back to the YouTube, I've found that, like, in the comment section, if they disagree with John, it's like, this is why I disagree with you, because point A, point B, point B. If they disagree with me, it's like, you dumb slut. You <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? There, Don't there's read definitely the I know. Uh, but there's <laughs> definitely a double standard when it comes to how they approach, I think, uh, different mm -hmm. people in the way that they communicate Absolutely. their opinions. Yeah. Uh, but I want to know from you guys, what double standards have you faced and what do you think about Ariana Grande's essay? Let us know in the comments down below and we'll see you in the next one.